Hey, all my friends online, I'm back. It's summer, and guess what I have for you? Another RV video. We just bought our new RV this past February before the pandemic. We had lots of plans for the spring and summertime, but times sure have changed. One of the experiences we had been looking forward to the most was visiting wineries, especially our local wineries. With our Harvest Host membership, we had planned to explore wineries throughout the region. A Harvest Host membership allows you to boondock overnight at any participating wineries, breweries, farms, and golf clubs throughout the country. Between social distancing and all my PTO getting used up during the quarantine, we're going to have to adjust our bougie boondocking experience to meet the times. So come along with us and see how our Harvest Host experience at our local wineries has changed. But before we get started, welcome to my channel. I post videos every week, so don't forget to subscribe because apparently YouTube really wants you to, and I'd love to see and hear from you again. Now, to get ready for summer, we thought we would get a little cafe table set. We ordered it from Amazon, and it was the perfect color to match our cup set and our ice maker because no bougie summer outing is complete without a cold beverage. This weekend, we plan on having a quarantine bougie weekend. Let's see how it goes. It should be fun. Okay, side note, warning, and disclaimer. When having an RV, even a new one, expect to run into some sort of hiccup requiring a repair. My recommendation, always have a tool set and some duct tape. Hey, you you, like I said, you would have noticed it as soon as you would have. Because it's like, literally swinging. No, I felt it. It, it, yeah. was, it was loose. Like, yeah. every, as soon as I moved, it starts swinging. Yeah. And there's no way I would have not noticed that thing swinging. Because yeah. I adjust the mirrors every time I come in. Yeah, we were in here last night. That's the other thing, too. So it, it wasn't, it didn't happen last night. We drove, we sat here, we ate dinner, and we, you drove it back from uh, Woodbridge. Yeah, you would have noticed, like you said. Duct tape. Duck, mm -hmm. Or a Mercedes. And a Mercedes chassis. Yep. Duct tape. It has value. Okay, back to our outing. Now, prior to 2020, our local winery has always offered indoor seating where you could enjoy a break from the heat, a nice cold beer, and a slice of pizza. Also popular was the wine tasting room, but the outdoor seating was always the most popular and available. Large groups and families would set up with chairs and tables all around. Now, as far as reservations, being a Harvest host member, you were always required to make a reservation for a spot for your RV if you wanted to boondock overnight. Currently, you're still able to boondock, but only on Monday through Thursday. No weekends. Now, post-COVID, we had to make table reservations, even though we had planned to eat and drink at our RV. So once seated, we had to scan a QR code to place our order. This code opens the GoTab site where you can view your menu, place your order, and pay. Well, today we brought our own food because we came for the wine slushies and some summer rosé. So after receiving our order, we packed our cheese platter, rosé, and wine slushies to take back to the RV with us. Normally this space is pretty crowded with small groups, large groups, kids, pets. Today it was still a good turnout. As you can see here, here's the check-in point. And the parking lot is very spacious, plenty of room for cars, and a feel around the parking lot for RVs. So we set up camp and prepared to enjoy our late lunch. Now my husband isn't too keen on any pizza that's not New York pizza. He's a bit of a pizza snob. I put it on his Brooklyn upbringing, so we stopped at a little farmer's market and picked up some lobster rolls. Because the grounds are spacious for just about all sizes of RVs, it would have been nice to stay overnight again. Though the field is next to a road, it's a relaxing and peaceful experience. It's a bummer that there's no longer a weekend boondocking, because as you know, I have no PTO left. But spending the day was like old times enjoying the weather and sipping on wine slushies. It was a perfect way to spend the Saturday. Bougie boondocking. You don't always need a far off destination or a long stretch of vacation time to enjoy the summer in an RV. For us, we just need good weather, good food, 
and good drinks, and most importantly, each other. It's the summertime, so I'll be posting more RV videos and bougie boondocking trips. I hope you find a way to enjoy your summer safely. Let me know in the comments below if there is any particular thing you would like to know about our RV. Also, let me know if you have any good recommendations for short, day, or overnight trips. We're pretty simple people who like to eat and chill. If you want to see more pictures and stories of us tooling around in our RV, go check us out on Instagram. We're at Bougie Boondockers. I'll see you there.